Hi guys, we Bob, and the Move Coupe has arrived finally. It arrived last Monday. This is a so it arrived a week ago, and that's why I've not had a chance to make any videos because I have been literally building desks and getting boxes undone and getting stuff set up. So I thought I would do a wee video, quick video, because my wife's out at the moment and I don't feel comfortable doing videos when there's loads of people around. There is some kids up the stairs, but. We'll deal with that. So I thought I'd do a wee tour of my potential game room, which is under the stairs. And uh, I will turn the camera around and I'll show you that. Alright guys, so two minutes and we'll see how we go. So guys, this is the potential gaming area. Um, it's pretty much a mess at the moment. Um, but we are getting set up under here. I've got my flash on here, so hopefully not too much glare. Um, I'm not sure how I turn that off, but so I've got loads of stuff still to get sorted out. You can see all the PlayStation and Blu-rays are all kind of all over the place there. Um, Blu-rays are turned around the wrong way. Literally, this has just come in and been dumped in here. That shelf needs some work because it's bending, so I need to put some wood in the middle. But we are literally under the stairs with some fairy lights. Nothing too extravagant, you know top end and stuff like that excuse me so I literally just got this set up five minutes ago and um, I'm not set up but started so I'll just do a couple of things that I've got lying around here and uh, I'll start with the, the consoles so we do have a Xbox 360 here and a frozen bag inside the frozen bag is all my daughter's Minecraft stuff look there's a, a block of TNT I'm sure there's an Enderman in here somewhere and a, a creeper. We've got a bed. Um, so yeah, we've got the Xbox 360, which I don't actually think I've got any games for, because I think I gave them all to my brother. Um, we've got, my friend gave me this from work, PlayStation 1, um, one of the um, newer small versions. I haven't, I think I tried booting that up a while ago, I haven't booted it up. Since Nintendo 64, which needs cleaned, eh, I've got a couple of games for that. I haven't tried it again in months. PS2 needs clean up, it's got scratches, it's got coffee stains on it. This wasn't my PS2, it was my father in law's, it was up his loft, I think. Got the Mega Drive, which I showed um, in a previous video, is the thing that I picked up recently. Um, the oldest system I've got here is a ZX81. Now I do not have all the bits, cables or anything for that. It hasn't been um, powered up since I was a kid. Uh, but I used to have this up in my room um, attached to a wee tiny TV. We've got a Wii, which again is not set up yet. Get a PlayStation 3 and we've got a wee guy here from um, I think it's Skylanders Giants. Um, get my SNES Mini. I've got a wee Mario, that's from McDonald's, and uh, he changes colour, exciting stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to get the place set up, and there's just some hard drives, SNES mini box, Lego Dimensions, a bunch of controllers, and um, the Wii things, so it's all really just been dumped in here at the moment. This here is a special thing, um, this guy here. Is uh, Mr. Circle, and uh, Mr. Circle was a present from my wife, who got him made for me. Um, there was a TV program, I think it was a, uh, what was it? Was it Charlie, something Charlie? Good luck, Charlie. It's like a kids program that my kids used to watch, and there was this guy, a uh, Mr. Circle character who talked. I'll try and put in some um, footage of him. since I now have my computer back. Um, so I will eventually do a kind of collection video what I've got. That's again just Lego Dimensions. A couple of Lego games. Um, so yeah, just various things here. So that kind of gives you a quick whistle stop tour. I haven't actually got the TV up and running yet. I'm just running a cable round the back and I'll be spending some time getting this set up and then I can maybe do some gameplay capture. 
So I'll just I'll quickly pause again and I'll show you my other working area and uh, it lets you see everything briefly just now. So this is my other area. Um, in here we have PS VR. It's again I need a stand for it. Um, we've got the PS4. Mad Max and The Phantom Pain, which are two games that I got at Christmas and I haven't even had a chance to play them yet. Over here is my PC setup. I have stolen my child children's uh, Blue Yeti microphone. I've got my tablet here for drawing, my old Samsung Note tablet. And yeah, so that's where we're going to be doing some, some editing. So see you later guys. So guys, that was a, a quick whistle tour of the Under the Stairs um, gaming room. I'm just in this quick video before my wife returns after dropping kids off at clubs. So yeah, you can see we've still got loads of things to do in the house. We'll get there eventually. Uh, I'm hoping to start to cycle to work soon, which will be good to get rid of some of the belly. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm waiting for a valve to come. Um, so this week has been... It's just been um, working away at fixing things around the house, getting stuff moved around, boxes unboxed. Uh, the kids wanted their computers set up, so I've been doing that. And then because I've been in a shipping container for five months, literally it's like Windows updates of five months worth of, of updates. So um, I was watching Dean Thompson today. He was doing a rant. It wasn't. I don't know whether he recorded it today. I don't think he did. He was doing a rant on the whole um, online only games that are coming out. And it is, it's rubbish. It's absolutely rubbish. The other day, I logged into the PS4 after getting it set up. And I had a membership to PS Plus, which meant I downloaded the likes of Infamous 2 and various other games. Um, Hypervoid, which I had in the PS VR, which was a great game. So I don't know how much that is to buy. Um, I'm really kind of annoyed because you then don't have access to these games, but you've already paid. You're pretty much renting them, which is what Dean says in his previous rants about um, these types of setups. So, really quite annoyed because I, I really was looking forward to a game of um, Hypervoid, which I'll see how much it is and I'll buy it eventually. But with everything else that's going on with all the buying desks and buying furniture and everything, that's amazing how much you can spend just on trying to reset up all your stuff from a dining table to washing machine to everything that you require just on a day-to-day -day basis. These things were like Christmas gifts and um, computers, my computer. Um, and yeah, so I, I need to get up to date with my computer and, and get it all set up properly. Been playing Mad Max on the PS4, which has been good. And... That's pretty much been it this week. Movie-wise, we started watching the last three days, or the next three days, uh, an older movie with Russell Crowe in it. And uh, it's a pretty good movie. I've seen it before, but we're watching the end of it tonight, I think. We'll see. Depends. Maybe tomorrow night by the time we watch it. So I'm home to get back into my artwork. I've got my guitar. I need to get re restring, restrung, restringed. I don't know. So... Yeah, it's all go. It's all going in the in the wee Bob house. I've got my my other things like my art book. Um, I do have a good picture of a dragon in here somewhere. Yeah, uh, see if I can find it somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. So yeah, I did drew that. Drew that. I I, I drew my wee dragon, which I was really quite pleased with. Um, and I've been working on other um artwork, but it's not been so good because I'm trying to um, learn. Trying to learn how to do a bit more variety, um, a wee bit more expression and movement within um, characters and stuff like that. So uh, I really like art. I really hope to get back into it. There's, I'm really pleased to be back and settled. Um, we're struggling a wee bit, but we'll get there in the end. Just with um, hopes and dreams, I guess. But with having a house, the computer's set back up. First world problems, as I call them. Um, that, regardless of how much money you have or regardless of how good life is, I think everybody suffers a wee bit from um, mental health and 
from the ability to to do I guess it, a lot of people think if you've got a good life, a good job, that's you, you're set. But it's not really the case um, all the time. If you, it doesn't matter where you are going through in life. Everybody can suffer from from kind of issues with just being able to think right and stuff like that. And I've had my challenges from going to Australia to come back. Uh, it's been a mentally challenging time. And it really does feel like a relief to be here still pressure, I've still got to go and work and still got to earn money still got to do everyday things to, to keep on going uh, but life certainly seems to be settling down a wee bit, for myself anyway I know other members of my family are struggling a bit more than I am because I've got work, I've got the guys at work I can go and talk to and, and we can just chat out, stuff like that but life is good, sun's out today Sun was out over the weekend. Scotland's weather has been pretty decent the past week or so. We've had the odd day of absolutely chucking it down. I think last Sunday was one of those days. Um, but I'm hoping maybe tomorrow night will be the same and we can go play frisbee. Stuff like that. So on the gaming side, I hope to do a wee bit more on the gaming side. I was talking about the main cab. That might need to take a bit of a back seat just now from a cost side of things, I've had that much to buy, I need to really try and curtail any non-required costs. So we'll see how that goes. I've got a webcam here set up, so I may be able to do a live stream one night, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I don't tend to have any real nights where I'm in the house myself, so me doing a live stream might not really be practical. So yeah, I hope everybody out there is doing good. Um, could, do, could do with some... Um, some vlogs from, from other people, I think. It would be good to see some. I'm glad to see Dean back. Missing a wee bit of Lone Boys Post's vlog side of things. He, he's done a few, but I quite liked when he did the Wednesday car journey home and he was just talking about a topic. Um, I do like the gameplay as well. He was doing Green Beret. And um, I, now I've got this set up, I can maybe get some emulators set up as well. And then start to... Um, sort through that stuff and um, get some gameplay captured and, and so on and so forth so I hope you guys are well hope you enjoy the wee room tour I'll try and edit this together I need to get a title screen everybody else has got a title screen I need to get my kind of intro sorted out because it's um, a wee song that you, you learn in your head and then you hear the, the song you can associate it with the channel that you're trying to watch Mr Bads has got a good intro Main Meister's got a good intro, one boy's got his wee guitar riff going on for him. Um, and yeah, the other ones, as I say, as soon as you hear the, the tune, that's it. So anyway guys, that's the life back and I'll leave it there. See you later, wee bob out.